علی اللہ رسول کریم اما آباد فاؤز بلّہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شاہلی صدری ویسر علی عمری واہل العقدم السانی یفقہ قولی ویلکم ٹو ساؤتھ القرآن ان شاء اللہ ٹو ڈے وی گنا ڈو جس ٹوینٹی ایٹ وی آر ڈوئنگ شارٹ سمری ہیئر ول اسٹارٹ وتھ سورت المجادلہ اینڈ ول اینڈ ایٹ سورت التحریم کپل آف سوراس آر ان بٹوین ان جس وی آر سینگ شارٹ سمری اوز بلّہ من شیطان جیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Certainly Allah has heard the speech of one who argues with you, O Muhammad sallallahu concerning her husband and directs her complaint to Allah and Allah hears your dialogue. Indeed, Allah is hearing and seeing. Before Islam, there was a tradition known as zihar, which was that a man would say to his wife, you know, you are to me like the back of my mother, meaning forever I shall never ever be able to be intimate with you and you are... not lawful to me you are just like a mother to me it's like you know in other way just uh, want to abandon the relationship and that that was the thing so here the kaula radiyallahu anhu she came to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and seeking the solution and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in accordance to the tradition he said the law is in effect but because he was declared zihar so he has declared zihar you are no longer his wife it's finished But this lady was extremely worried and that if this means divorce, then what about me and what about my children, what about my family, there should be a way out of this. She was talking to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam seeking a solution. However, Allah says, Tashtaki ilallah. She was complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is so big that a person seeks solution to his problem, from, not from the people, from asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here what happened, you know, um, when she was going and the wahi was revealed and there was a solution for this. And Aisha Razielana said, like I can't hear her voice uh, when she was talking, you know, how the hujras was like, you know, small compartments or apartments. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sami and basir. He could hear and he could see and Allah answered the prayer. And then what they have to do? الَّذِينَ يُزَاهِرُونَ مِنْكُمْ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ مَا مَا هُنَّ أَمْ أُمَّهَاتِكُمْ And those who pronounce zihar among you to separate from their wives, they are not consequently their mothers. Here uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, no, they are not your mothers. They, their mothers are not but those who gave birth to, you, to them, you know. Indeed, they are saying a liar, like, you, you know, liar statement and it's not the truth. But indeed Allah is uh, forgiving and pardoning. And those who pronounce zihar from their wives then wish to go back. Like you know, after having this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, given solution for it. What they have to do? They said they must be first of all freeing the slave. Before touching a woman means before having the relationship with, uh, uh, relationship with your wife. And that is the thing you have to do. But what if they don't have slave? Then you have to fast for two consecutive months. If not that, the third thing is then feeding 60 poor people. Okay? Whether you can uh, individually feed them or 60 at a time, your wish. And, you know, feeding them at least for the two times, you know, and give them the money or how you arrange it depends on you. Then only... you can go to uh, near to your wife and who is responsible for this man because he said that you are my you are like my mother to me so he has to do so we have to be careful when we pronounce the words and people they keep on saying the words which are not appropriate especially you know uh, men they use the um, you know talaq word so many times you know you, you have to make sure whether uh, it's appropriate or not You know, we have to be careful with our language. Indeed, those who oppose Allah and His Messenger are based on those before them were abased and we have certainly sent down verses of clear evidence and for the disbelievers is a humiliating punishment. And later on we see in ayah number 9, Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu, O you have believed, then you converse privately. Do not converse about sin and aggression and disobedience to the Messenger. and converse about righteousness, piety and fear Allah to whom you will be gathered. 
you know you can counsel but the you know it shouldn't be like masiya and or shouldn't be sinful thing and you should fear allah private conversation is only from shaitan that he may grieve you those who have been believe he will not harm them at all except by the permission of allah and upon allah let the believers rely and here he uh, later on we see in ayah number 12 ya ayyuhal ladina amanu again who you believe then you wish to privately consult the messenger present before your consultation a charity and this was the hukum that time only one person uh, act upon it that is the uh, own son in law ali radhiyallahu anhu he gave the money and met and consult rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because everybody was meeting him and taking his time and energy so uh, now the hukum has been issued that you know whoever want to have the private consultation a uh, consultation with the rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has to pay the money that is better for you and purer but if you find not the means then indeed allah is forgiving and merciful it means like you know you don't have opportunity to pay means you don't have you are completely broken like you know it's okay have you feared to present before your consultation charities you know that's what you you were not able to uh, pay the money then you know when you do not and allah has forgiven you then at least establish prayer and give zakat and obey allah and his messenger and later on we see shaitan has overcome them and made them forget the remembrance of allah in ayah number 19 shaitan you know always there to incite the people those are the party of shaitan unquestionably the party party of shaitan they will be the losers and here Surah Al-Hashr Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Subha lillah ma fi as-samawati wa ma fi al-ard You know those surahs which are musabbihat it starts with the praise of Allah tasbih of Allah whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth exalts Allah and he is exalted in might and wise even we have seen Surah Al-Juma and previously we have seen Surah Al-Hadid so here be allah loves the praise subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar you can say 100 times it will expiate your sins and later on we see if he not the allah had decreed for them evacuation he would have punished them in this world and for them in the hereafter is the punishment of the fire zalika bi annahum shaqqu allah wa rasuluh this is because they opposed allah and his messenger and whoever opposed allah then indeed allah is severe in penalty whatever you have cut down their palm trees and left standing on their trunk it was by permission of allah so he would disgrace the defiantly disobedient so here you see this um, uh, this ayah is mentioned over here basically uh, the fresh lush and healthy dates palm trees and believers are also like the date palm trees you know what happened was during the siege the muslims they had to cut down some of the date palm trees why because the orchards they naturally protect the fortresses from the side so they had to cut down some of the trees first of all in order to weaken the hearts of the banu nazir because these trees were uh, like their most precious belonging this um, Uh, uh, these trees were hundred of years old. Some of them, it uh, takes many years for a date palm tree to be uh, that age. And also, they were escaping in that. You know, they have to evacuate. The heart of the Banu Nazir. They sank. They became weak, and eventually, the Muslims were able to launch a proper assault on them. And eventually, the Banu Nazir they surrendered. but you can imagine there was so much noise over that you know oh muslims they cut down date palm trees but you understand the hikma and the you know behind that so bani nazir were trying to kill prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was not a problem and it happened today also that a muslim makes one mistake and it's not even a mistake but it's blown out of proportion and so allah defends the muslims over here so in that context you have to understand then how they cut the trees and so on it doesn't mean like you know islam does not promote greenery no 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 it's not so it there was a hikmat uh, hikma behind it for the poor immigrants who, who were expelled from their homes and their property seeking bounty from his allah and his approval and supporting allah and his messenger there is also a share those are truthful 
so allah calls the truthful and the hypocrites what they are called liars because they are lying and they are just pretending in front of muslims and later we see have you not considered those who practice hypocrisy say to their brothers who have disbelieving among the people of scripture if you are expelled we will surely leave with you and we will not obey in regard to you anyone ever and if you are fought we will surely and you but allah te- testifies they are liars who are these these are about um, abdullah bin ubay and talking about hypocrites they are lying they are just you know promoting the lie over here and here in ayah number 18 ya ayyuhal ladina amanu taqullaha o you have belief fear allah and here and let every soul look to what it has put forth for tomorrow we have to look forward you know what we have uh, put forward for tomorrow because allah is acquainted with what you do because it's like you know good deeds we are depositing in akhira bank we have to check our uh, selves you know la yastawi ashabun nar wa ashabul jinna no equal are the companions of the fire and the companion of paradise ashab ul janna humul faizun the companions of paradise they are the attainer of success and we all want success what is success janna so here we all want success in high number 21 law anzalna hazal quran ala jabalin la raaitahu qashiyan mutasaddian min khashyati allah wa tilka amsalu nadribuha very beautiful ayah. If we had sent down this Quran upon a mountain, you would have seen it humble, coming apart from fear of Allah and the example we present to the people that perhaps they will give thought. You know, mountains, because of khashya of Allah, they are humbled. So how humble they are. And also the last ayahs has a small husna, you know. هو الله الذي لا اله الا هو عالم الغيب والشهاده هو الرحمن الرحيم he is the allah other than whom there is no deity nor of the unseen and the witness he is entirely merciful especially merciful and you know these ayahs are very beautiful you it has a small husna you can recite this ayah and ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and later on it says in ayah number 23 هو الله الذي لا اله الا هو المؤمن المحمن السلام you know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been praised here he is Allah other than whom there is no deity he is malik he is quddus he is salam he is momin you know sovereign pure perfection bestower of the faith mohin the overseas aziz exalted jabbar the compeller mutakabbir superior subhanallah and my yushrikun exalted is allah above whatever they associate with him and also there is one more dua you know subbuhun quddusun rabbul malaikati wa ruh this also you can say allahumma anta salam min wa minka salam tabarak azal jilal bil ikram this also a praising of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there are so many duas you inshallah you can uh, recite it inshallah during ramadan time and here this is the beautiful duas you have to recite that's the uh, last ayahs of suratul hashr suratul mumtahina ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o oh, you who have believed do not take my enemies your enemies as aliens extending to to them affect affection while they have disbelieved in what they came to you the truth having driven out the prophet and yourself because you believe in allah your lord if you have come out for jihad in my cause seeking means to my approval take them not as a friends you can find them uh, but i am most knowing of what you have concealed you know don't take them as your um, friends have declare who does it among you certainly astray from the soundness of the way if they gain dominance over you they would be to as a enemies and extend against you their hands and their tongue with evil they wish you would disbelieve you know the disbelievers they want that way and here later on we see rabbana taj'alna fitnatan lil ladina kafaru our lord make us not objects of torment for the disbelievers and forgive us our lord indeed it is you who is the exalted and might and wise 
and later on here we see in ayah number 8 allah does not forbid you from those who do not fight you because of religion do not expel you from your homes from being righteous towards them and acting justly towards them indeed allah loves those who act justly so no matter what we have to act justly and here if you have lost any of your wives to the disbelievers meaning uh, any woman goes to mushrikeen and you subsequently obtain something then give those whose wives have gone the equivalent of what they had spent and fear allah in whom you are believers like you know now migration has been done so some people has been uh, you know ma- married and they some moved so that's the hukum going on o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when believing women come to you pledge to you that they will not associate anything with allah means not share next thing they will not steal nor they commit unlawful sexual intercourse third thing and nor will they kill the children that is the fourth thing and nor they bring forth a slander they have invit- invented between their armies and legs nor they disobey you in what is right then accept their pledge these are the things then accept their pledge and ask forgiveness for them to allah indeed allah is forgiving and merciful you know after the migration so many things were going on ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o you have believed make allies of people with whom allah has become angry they have despair of reward in the hereafter just as the disbelievers have despaired of the meeting in hepitence of the graves surah tusaf bismillah rahman rahim again this is uh, starts with subbaha lillahi musabbihad lillahi ma fis samawati wa ma fil ard wa huwal azizul hakim whatever is heaven and earth allah is exalted might and wise so again ya ayyuhal ladina amanu who be believed what do you say what you do not do you know lima taquluna ma la taf'alun allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying don't say which you are not doing it in this regard prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked what did you intend to give him you know once he saw a lady she was saying to the child you know come on i will give you something and if you are good to me and later on rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said what you were intend to give if you were not intended to give then it will be recorded as a lie against you so we have to be careful when we are dealing with anyone allah is watching us don't lie to anyone so great is the hatred inside of allah that you say what you do not do this is in the i number 3 uh, so here we learn a beautiful law like you know do not lie and do not say which you are not you are not intended to do and here later on mention about musa al islam and isa al islam and uh, in ayah number 9 it is who sent his messenger with guidance and religion of truth to manifest over all the religion although though those who associate other with allah dislike it and here there is a ya ayyuhal ladina amanu qul adullukum shall i guide you ala tijaratin beautiful ayah number 10 about a transaction what it is that will save you from a painful punishment tunjikum min azabin alim and what is that tu minuna billahi wa rasulihi you know you have to believe in allah and then rasul and what else you have to do strive in the cause of allah with your wealth and your life this is the key thing you have to do then only you will be successful and here later we see in the ayah number it's a short surah and let's end it uh, in ayah number 14 ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o you believe kunu ansar allah he be supporter of allah we all has to be supporter of allah nahnu ansar allah and when isa al islam son of mary said to the disciples who are my supporters for allah the disciples said nahnu ansar allah we are supporter of allah and a faction of children of israel believed and faction disbelieved so we have to believe and we have to be nahnu ansar allah here surah al jumma bismillah rahman rahim again this starts with the musabbiha tasbih of allah subhanahu wa taala so please make it a habit to do zikr keep your uh, mouth keep your uh, mouth uh, you know uh, 
with the zikr always recite zikr inshallah here yusabbi lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard al-malik al-quddus al-aziz al-hakim whatever is in heaven and earth uh, is exalting allah so why don't we exalt allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah alhamdulillah la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar it is who has sent among the unlettered message from themselves reciting to them his verses and purifying them and teaching them the book and the wisdom although they were before in clear error this is also a very beautiful ayah in ayah number 2 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying you know i have sent the ummi messenger and what he does tilawa reciting verses and yuzakki him purifying and you know and also teaching the book and also teaching the hikma there are few other um, places where allah mention in a different manner and it's almost the same verses over there but the beautiful lesson we learn like why rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came and how he has taught us the quran and here in ayah number 5 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you know don't be like a donkey you know he is uploaded with a lot of books but he doesn't understand like you know uh, in the like you know he has so many example of those who were interested with the torah and they did not take it on it like that of a donkey who carries volume of books you know do, do you understand like you know if you put the load on the donkey he doesn't know whether he is carrying the load of the books or something else he doesn't understand the same thing if you have knowledge and if you are not implementing it what's the use be samasal al qaum al ladina kazzabu bi ayatillah wretched is the example of the people who deny the signs of allah because these are the denial of the signs of allah so here uh talking about you know when uh, juma time comes you have to come for the prayer in ayah number 9 oh you who have believed when azan is called for the juma day of juma friday then proceed to remembrance of allah and leave the trade bazarul bai this is better for you if you only know so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever takes a bath on friday and baths completely meaning properly and goes early and walks does not ride up to the mosque and sit there and listen to the khutba and he walks to the masjid and do, does not like you know here it's not easy i know you can go in the car but you have to go before the time and uh, properly you know clean yourself and allah will give you the reward for that and here and then there is a time uh, in the friday time there is a certain time where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts your dua so make lot of dua on the friday inshallah and here we learn friday has so much importance but in ayah number 10 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when you are done with the prayer then go ahead and do your work but still remember allah you know but when they saw a transaction a diversion a muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they rushed to it and left you standing so it happened you know when um, all people they went away to buy something and they left rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was the time of the prayer that was that's what it was talking about and here suratul munafiqun what is munafiqun talking about hypocrites bismillahir rahmanir rahim iza jaa al munafiqun qalu nashhadu innaka rasulullah wallahu ya'lamu innaka rasuluhu wallahu yashhadu innal munafiquna lakazibun when the hypocrites come to you o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they say we testify that you are messenger of allah and allah knows that you are his messenger and allah testify the hypocrites are kazibun they are liars they are lying it and allah knows the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said two things will never be together in a hypocrite good manners and uh, like uh, fit in the religion they they can't be together and here they have taken their oath as a cover so they avert people from the way you know they say we really you know we are true we wallahi and tallahi and they actually want to avert from the way of allah because they believe and they disbelieve so their hearts were sealed over and they do not understand these are the things mentioned about hypocrite humu allazina yaquluna they are the one who say do not spend on those who are with messenger of allah until they disband and to allah belongs the 
depositories of heaven and earth but the hypocrites do not understand this is in ayah number 7 in ayah number 8 they say if we return to madina the more honor will surely expel uh, there from the more um, humble and it to allah belongs all honor and to his messenger and to the believers but hypocrites they do not know and here later on we see uh, it's a small surah in ayah number 11 but never will allah delay a soul when it's come time has come and allah is acquainted what you do means you know even though like everybody has to die not a moment will be delayed he is gone at taghabun surah at taghamun bismillah rahman rahim yusabbu lillah ma fi samawati again start with the musabbihat whatever is in heavens and earth allah is the exalted So praise be to Allah Subhanallah walhamdulillah wala ilaha illallah wallahu akbar It who created among you is the disbelievers among you is the believer and Allah of what you do is seeing Allah is seeing everything he created heaven and earth and perfect everything and here in later we see in ayah number 7 those who disbelieve have claimed that they will never be resurrected say yes but my lord you will be sure be resurrected Allah says you will be resurrected no disaster strikes except by the permission of Allah and whoever believes in Allah he will guide his heart that is level uh, aya and later in aya number 14 oh you have believed indeed among your wives zawj among your spouses and children are enemies to you so beware of them but if you pardon and overlook and forgive them Allah is forgiving and merciful and here innamal mu inna innama amwalukum and your wealth and your children are a test for you and Allah has with him a great reward and here Allah has sent us with the test knower of the unseen and witness the exalted in might the wise surah at-talaq wa bismillah rahman rahim O Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when you muslim divorce women divorce them for the commencement of their waiting period meaning give them a divorce at a time when they can actually begin their idda and keep count of the waiting period and fear Allah your lord do not turn them out of their husband's house means as soon as divorce has been pronounced do not you know kick out of the house nor should they themselves leave you know even women she should be careful and she don't she shouldn't leave unless they are committing a clear immorality who women and those are the limits set by allah and whoever transgress the limits of allah has certainly wronged himself you know not perhaps allah will bring about that a matter deferred and then when they have nearly fulfilled their term either retain them you know you want to reconcile reconcile them accept the term of parts with them according to the acceptable terms and bring to witness to just man from among you o witnesses establish the testimony for the acceptance of allah that is instructed to whoever should believe in allah and the last day and fear allah and allah will make a out way for him you know allah knows uh, and ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you and allah will help you and here let we see in ayah number 10 allah has prepared for them a severe punishment so fear allah oh you understanding who have believed and here in um, ayah number 12 it is who has created seven heavens and earth like of them he command descends you know allah is saying how he has created seven heavens and the earth surah at-tahrim bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim ya ayyuhan nabi o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam why do you prohibit yourself from what allah has made lawful for you seeking the approval of your wives and allah is forgiving and merciful here indication over here is here is to the honey that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam swore not to even drink again why because some of his wives said to him that honey had left a bad smell on him so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam for the purpose of pleasing his wife he swore on uh, oath that he would never drink the honey again he would leave it he did not declare uh, it's unlawful but he just uh, wanted his wives to be happy so uh, like you know like, look at how careful the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was he didn't even want smell from him because of the food that he liked all right 
just to make his wife happy but since he is a prophet he is a role model allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the wahi and he has said you know he can't you know leave the honey honey has so many benefits and he can't decide so allah has already ordained for you muslims the dissolution of your oath and allah you protector he is knowing and wise you know you have uh, make the uh, oath now you have to break that oath remember when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam confined to one of his wife a statement he said something he said some secret and that wife shared to other person meaning when she inform another of it allah inform him about it by through the wahi so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made known part of it and ignored a part when he informed her about it she said who told you this he said i was informed by knowing the acquaintance and the wife was asking who told you he said allah you know allah told me so if you two wives repent to allah you know because who was there aisha radhiyallahu anha and hafsa radhiyallahu anha they were talking on the back and they were asked to repent and they did tawbah nasuha and we learn from that you know ummahatul mu'minin they are doing tawbah so we also should do tawbah if we do wrong perhaps his lord if the prophet divorced you all if the prophet divorced you all all will substitute for him wives better than you allah is clearly saying you know prophet can replace all the wives and here this was the command from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but they repent and they they were not uh, replaced ya ayyuhal ladina amanu who believed to protect yourself your families from a fire whose fuel is people and stone this is very beautiful ayah ay number 6 you know everybody has to protect the from the fire so we have to make sure that our family believe and follow what allah has commanded and here later on we we see a beautiful dua also when you pass through the uh, you know pulsarat you have to make that dua and in the end you know um, beautifully uh, present how uh, the believer women and uh, the people who were um, like you know nuh al islam and wife of lut al islam how uh, they were uh, these people were righteous but their wives uh, they betrayed and allah uh, set an example and also uh, set an example of pharaoh how um, uh, uh, his wife was like you know obedient and she made a beautiful dua rabbi ibni li indaka baitul fil janna my lord build for me near your uh, house in paradise this is in ayah number 11 so always make this dua you know allah will answer and also in, in the end it was appreciated about maryam al islam daughter of imran and how chaste she was and through the angel she believed in the words of her lord and his scripture and was the devotedly obedient subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka nastaghfiruka